Sergio Perez is one of the most experienced drivers on the grid, and this mega save in tricky conditions at the even trickier Spa Francorchamps is good proof of his raw driving talent. By the time Q2 was over, what had started as a sunny qualifying session became a game of survival just to stay on track, and no one was safe. With eight minutes to go and the rain intensifying, Perez got everyone on the edge of their seats with this incredible manoeuvre at 150 kilometres an hour. Not one for the faint of heart, and an astonishing display of car control that allowed him not only to continue, but to go on and qualify fourth. The Mexican driver wrapped up the 2019 season with what he described as one of the best moves of his career. The midfield battle was intense in the last stages of the season finale in Abu Dhabi, with a host of championship battles going down to the wire. Lando Norris was the Mexican's target, both fighting for seventh place at Yas Marina. The McLaren held off the approaching racing point for several laps. Here goes Sergio Perez, could be one of his last chances to get past Lando Norris. Norris once again making him go the long way round the outside, and that's the clever way uh, to defend into that corner, and Norris keeps himself ahead. But Perez got the upper hand with this move around the outside on the last lap, overtaking him both on track and for 10th place in the championship standings. This has been one of the best moves of my career. <laughs> I can't believe I allowed him to make the best move of his career. That was a um, pretty, pretty special one. Baku joined the F1 calendar in 2016 as the host of the European Grand Prix, a new venue that delivered Perez his seventh podium in Formula One. But he didn't get it without a fight. After qualifying an incredible second quickest, Perez was dragged five places down the grid due to a gearbox change in his Force India. Starting seventh, the Mercedes-powered Mexican made up two places with a brilliant start. And with other teams struggling with the high track temperatures, Perez's masterful tyre management made his two-stop strategy work when others couldn't. Lying in fourth position for most of the race, Kimi Raikkonen ahead was compromised by a five-second penalty to be added to his race time. And Perez smartly stayed within range before finally overtaking him on the last lap. When I saw the opportunity that he was safe enough to do it and no risk at all, I went for it because it obviously feels a lot nicer. But 2012 was truly Sergio Perez's launch pad. His third podium of the season at the Italian Grand Prix from 12th on the grid was the cherry on top of a remarkable second year in F1. And 20 days later, McLaren announced him as the replacement for Mercedes-bound Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton won the race that day in Monza, but it was Perez who stole the headlines. It's unbelievable to, to leave a podium in, in Monza with all these people. His expert tyre management worked its magic again, allowing him to extend a first stint on hard tyres to then push to the maximum on the medium compound. He relentlessly made his way up through the field in his Sauber, overtaking the likes of Kimi Raikkonen and Fernando Alonso to cross the line second and confirm himself as one of the best racing drivers on the planet. When heavy rain dampened the start of the 2016 Monaco Grand Prix, Perez knew it was his chance to shine. From seventh on the grid and with blinding spray ahead, staying away from the barriers required a cocktail of enormous talent with a drop of fortune. And Perez had both. A perfect strategy from Force India saw him go long on his first stint and overcut his opponents before switching to dry tyres earlier than his rivals and achieving an undercut. His sensibility to judge the perfect time to pierce on both occasions elevated him all the way to the podium and earned him an unforgettable moment in his career at Formula One's most famous circuit. It feels great, especially because I know that in normal circumstances we don't have the pace you know, to, to go up there. So today I knew that it was a great opportunity not to be on the podium but to show my talent. You know, I really thought like, Checo, you stay out of the walls, do your job, stay focused and uh, that was an amazing race. After a difficult season with McLaren, 2014 gave Perez the chance of a fresh start with a new team, Force India. And in only his third race, he claimed a podium at the Bahrain Grand Prix and proved to everyone he was still one of the best in the business. Perez started from P4 and battled his way up to third after a fierce fight with Felipe Massa. 
but it wasn't over yet. After making two pit stops, he passed teammate Nico Hülkenberg and Massa again to retake third. He had to defend from Hülkenberg and later a hard-charging Daniel Ricciardo, right up to the chequered flag. But it was all worth it, some precious redemption after 2013's poor results. The Force India team was ecstatic as Perez gifted them their first podium since 2009 and their special relationship had begun. When it all goes wrong, it's the most talented and experienced who often thrive. And Sergio Perez has demonstrated these qualities throughout his decade-long career. Two years after his podium in Baku's inaugural race, the 2018 Azerbaijan Grand Prix was about to become a classic. All could have been over for him after the first lap, though, when a broken front wing and five-second penalty sent him to the back of the field. But the chaos had only just begun. Ocon is out of the race! Danny and Sunday have crashed! They've gone into each other! Six retirements and three safety cars would follow. No! No! What happened? I think Ericsson hit us. But a combination of his Force India car's strong pace and his tyre management expertise helped him maximise every opportunity right to the end. Flying from fifth to third in a heartbeat as he soared past Sebastian Vettel's flat-spotted Ferrari and Valtteri Bottas's punctured Mercedes to secure a truly remarkable podium. Unbelievable, guys. We did it once again, guys, once again. I think today I did two laps of my whole career. Uh, I'm speechless. 2020 might have been Sergio Perez's most challenging year, but not even a global pandemic and the doubts over his future diminished his performance as he squeezed every ounce of pace out of the revamped racing point, scoring almost double the points tally of his teammate Lance Stroll, who started the Turkish Grand Prix from a remarkable pole position, with Perez right behind him in P3. In awful conditions, Fortune turned its back on Stroll as he struggled for grip with wing damage and graining on his tyres. But Perez was magnificent. He held off the pressure from a charging Max Verstappen whose impatience saw him spin out of third place. Oh, and Verstappen goes round. wide, he got caught up behind the rear wing of Sergio Perez and that has proved very costly indeed. Perez then took the lead after Stroll's second pit stop, but Lewis Hamilton decisively snatched the lead away a lap later. Running second for the rest of the race on ageing tyres, the effort almost came undone on the last lap when a charging Charles Leclerc made it through but then overcooked it into turn 12. Perez nipped back through and triumphantly crossed the line to equal what was at the time his best career finish. And once again, judging the life of his tyres down to the finest of margins. Sergio Perez, for the third time in his Formula One career, can see the checkered flag and take second place in a race. Oh man, one more lap and the tire will have exploded. Yeah, we were holding our breath here as well. Well done. Well done. Good job, guys. The 2012 Malaysian Grand Prix was the race where Sergio Perez truly came of age. Starting seventh, lights went out in treacherous conditions at Sepang. Nearly everyone started on intermediate tyres, but Perez was the first one to pit for full wets and was running fourth by the time the race was halted due to the torrential conditions. Half an hour later, Perez made the most of the second race start, overtaking Mark Webber for P2 after Jensen Button was called straight into the pits. The track was soaked with drivers guided by instinct rather than their vision, and the strategy game wasn't any easier. Hamilton's troubled pit stop cost him, and the young Perez was now the race leader. But a cautious late call for Inters meant Fernando Alonso was able to slip past him and Perez's call to go back onto Slicks arrived a lap too late, with Alonso keeping the lead. It was now a race to the flag, and Perez showed no mercy against the two-time world champion. Six tenths quicker in the second, say. 1.2 up on this lap alone, Sergio Perez. Very quick, Checo, doing very well. You we are very quick. Neither, however, did Alonso, putting all his skill to work to keep the Mexican behind, until a mistake saw the closing Perez run wide and his challenge effectively end. Oh, what happened to Sergio Perez there? What a shame. It had been a masterful race for Perez, a portentous display of his talent behind the wheel. 
and an awe-inspiring drive in the low-grip conditions which would become his forte. Even if the victory was oh so close, Perez's first Formula One podium was a powerful statement and a gust of the Mexican hurricane that would shake the F1 paddock for years to come. In his 10th year of Formula One, Perez was facing the potential of a year on the sidelines after it was announced Sebastian Vettel would replace him in 2021. In the penultimate round of the 2020 season, he found himself running dead last after being caught up in a spectacular collision with Charles Leclerc on the opening lap in Sakia. But with nothing to lose, Perez blitzed the field, making strong passes on Sebastian Vettel, Lando Norris and Alex Albon. And after pit stops had shaken up the field, he was running in fifth. He's going to try and get past his teammate if he can. Lock up there by Lance Stroll. And the racing points swap places. And Esteban Ocon was no match for the Mexican on a mission as he blasted past into the final podium position. It looked like that would be as far as he could go. But the leading Mercedes duo of George Russell and Valtteri Bottas were caught up in a costly tyre mix-up that left them down the order. And though Russell fought back, a puncture ended his chances. And so Perez finally had his reward, ending the longest wait in history for a driver to claim their maiden victory on his 190th race start. The man who was in last place at the end of lap one comes home to win the Sakia Grand Prix. Sergio Perez, wow, what a race for him and for Racing Point. Yes, Checo, P1, yes. Oh, we're speechless, guys. There were scenes of jubilation, tears of joy and relief as Perez had finally done it, knowing that whatever happened next, he was finally and deservedly a Grand Prix winner. I'm a bit speechless. I hope I'm not dreaming, you know, because I dreamed so many years being in this moment. Ten years, ten years it took me.